Hello fellow cyborgs and welcome back to another comic book review. Today I am going to be gushing about Nimona. Nimona was written and illustrated by Noelle Stevenson, and if you have a good memory, you may recall that this was in one of my recent book haul videos. This was picked out by my bestest friend. Fortunately, she did a good job, as I gave this four out of five stars. So Nimona starts off with the main titular character, Nimona, waltzing into Lord Blackheart's life without his permission and declaring herself his sidekick. Lord Ballister Blackheart is out to prove that the heroic institution is not nearly as good as it seems, and with Nimona's help and sometimes not help at all, they set out to try to do just that. Time and again, they meet up with Blackheart's nemesis, Sir Ambrosius Goldenloin, and <laughs> who has prettier hair than I do and is a gallant knight for the institution. This is really great. Nimona is just a character. She's so funny. If you can tell by the dragon wings, she has shapeshifter capabilities and she uses that power to great comedic effect most of the time. You're amused from the start at how she just wheedles her way into Black Art's life with him having seemingly no say in the matter. A lot of this book has really light and hysterical moments but it does have an actual plot that talks about serious things. It loses none of its charm throughout, even though things get a little grim and a little hopeless toward the end. But don't worry, there is hope. This is set in a world that has quite a medieval flavor, as you can see from the cover with the knights in shining armor. But there are also very, very futuristic technology, so it's this weird mashup world that only afterward I questioned, but whilst it was happening, I was just enjoying the ride. It never really gets explained how they're still in medieval armor, but have like calm links, and that's okay. It just makes the world extra quirky, extra unique, and you feel that much more part of it because you've accepted it without question. Apart from this being just a really, really pretty work of art on its own with the deep like forest green and if you can see the animals that are in that like shine embossing or whatever that's on top. The color scheme for the illustrations in this are also really wonderful. They, you know, each like couple pages has the, has its own scheme and they're just wonderful colors that I don't, it, oh, they're just wonderful. So the illustrations make this even more delightful of a read and it's so colorful, really well done. I really, really loved it. I highly recommend if you get a chance to pick this up and give it a try. I don't think you're going to regret it. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my review of Noelle Stevenson's Nimona. Please leave me in the comments down below any recommendations for similar graphic novels or comic books. Also in the comments, if you've read it, tell me what you thought. I hope you get to read some lovely comics of your own, and until next time, continue to be lovely.